because by the time I got there, they sat me down, had my nails working, I occupied, I couldn't even record night job. But anyways, got my nails done, they are all right. Literally just good for what they're good for at the moment, it is what it is. Um, toes is cute, toes is done. Eyebrow is dead, y'all. When I tell y'all she ate my eyebrows, I wish I could zoom in from back here, but that's not the point, y'all see them eventually. Anyway, so I just wanted to show y'all a few things. So I got this candle from Target. It's from the, is it Hearth in here? I hope I'm saying that right, but Hearth and Hand, and it says with Magnolia, and it's basically their Golden Hour candle, soy candle, 11 ounces, whatever. It looks like this, and this is how the inside looks. It's giving me, like, clay. It's giving me, I forgot what you call it, but when they, like, mold the clay and stuff like that, once again, I get so annoyed when I don't remember the name of certain things, and I know damn well when I watch the, when, and I know when I watch this video back, I'm like, how did you forget it is what it is. But I got this, oh my god, y'all, I got this candle. This was like, I'm going to say like $15. It was in the same section as the soap candle. And I got the see, this is, I believe, the newer one. Yeah, this is the newer soap candle. This is the older soap candle. And they are $20, so I just went to go pick it up. But if you, y'all, if you grew up and your mother used to braid and twist your hair down, y'all remember the green grease? It kind of reminds me of the green grease, but with a little bit more like, inviting smell not saying obviously the grease is uninviting but it smells kind of just like that and when i tell you i've just been randomly walking past my kitchen i just smell it real quick and i'm like oh it smells so good oh my god oh my god y'all it smells so good and then it's called golden owl which i think is so cute y'all this smells so good i can't wait to like this i'm not gonna lie though i am gonna just finish burning out the soap candle first because i realized when i burn too many candles because you know sometimes i want to put the candle on in my bedroom the kitchen the beauty room my bathroom stuff like that and it's just kind of like i'm just wasting candles at that point because a lot of the times i don't be in all these rooms at once so it's kind of pointless so i'm just like okay i'm gonna burn the soap candle which smells up the i don't want to say the whole house but it gives enough smell to where it's like equally distributed so i could do that so we got some new candles here, and then we have a partnership with the wig dealer. So we got a partnership with the wig dealer. They sent me this cute wig, and came in this box, and I'm like, okay, packaging. Okay, packaging, it is so cute. You just open it, and then they got the, the uh, velour bag. It's so nice, it's so nice. I gotta make a video on um, Instagram or TikTok or whatever, so I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this and then they sent me a bonnet i kind of want to do an unboxing which is why i didn't like take everything out and then they sent me their toolkit uh package thing so i'm gonna be using that as well and i cannot wait to do that um what else i'm just buying like little things to prepare for the wig sale because i don't know if i mentioned it to y'all already we about to go in a beauty room i actually do what time is it it's three as long as i can get the video up by like five which most likely is gonna happen i gotta post my vlog it's Tuesday, I was supposed to have it up yesterday, but I started my day late, and I'm just like, that's so inappropriate. Y'all yeah, know how I get when I start lacking and slacking. I'm just like, mm, it's giving very lazy vibes, and I don't like that. So, I'm trying to prepare. Y'all, I got so many damn wigs. I got so many. Y'all, we about to go count these wigs, and I have to buy a new overhead dryer, like a real good one. I got to order it off Amazon immediately. Um... Because I know I'm going to have to be so efficient with the way I wash these wigs. We got to get new products. We got to get some more uh, conditioner. We got to get some more shampoos. I bought a, um, a new edge mm, curler, whatever you want to call it, the pencil curler. Although I do like this one, I do feel like I could have got a smaller one. So I guess I'll just see how this helps me. And if I find a skinnier one, then I'll get that one too. I just bought a new hot comb because my hot comb is like faulty. I don't know if I brought that up to y'all, but... Since I bought it, it was like kind of acting up. And I was like, why didn't I just take it back? Like, but you know how sometimes you just take that out and it's like, I don't got time to deal with this. Plus, my hot comb still works, but it does like act up sometimes. I do have my Overliable. I feel like I was telling y'all about Overliable as well. And um, it was doing good, but I do want the uh, Babyless Flat Iron. But it's just like my Remington been holding it down for so long. I'm just like... 
you know but since 2017 having a flat iron since 2017 is crazy it's crazy because it's just like any day now i feel like it's gonna go out and it hasn't been showing signs of it which is good but i can't afford during a sale for anything to be breaking down so you know i bought my um i <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I went and bought another bottle of my Beyond Zone because y'all know this is over reliable. But I've been using the Bio Silk and the Climax uh, Gloss Me uh, Oil. I love all three of them, to be honest. This is just a little bit more lightweight and more... You can equally distribute this a little bit better compared to the actual oils. You got to rub your hand and rub through the hair. I really like this because you go while you flat iron and it don't do too much it don't add too much product it don't get oily so that's why i always go back to this one but so we got one of those what else oh my god we just got so much i have to clean today i have to get that beauty room y'all y'all gonna see me get down to the nitty gritty because that beauty room and me organizing and have to clean all these things my makeup brushes my hot tools because i want to clean the rust off of that too it's just so much going on damn i'm probably gonna have to go buy some vinegar to clean it off because i'm pretty sure you're supposed to use vinegar to get rust off if i'm not mistaken baking soda stuff like that i don't know we'll figure it out but y'all let's go count these wigs real quick because i know it's a few so let's count one on my head one on my head two on the couch so that's three four five six seven eight All right, this is the best y'all gonna get. All right, so before I even um, open this bag, this bag is fucking heavy. Y'all, bag away. So, yeah, this box is lined up right here. It's a wiggle video, wiggle my head, and some in the um, left room. So that's 10 already. And I don't mind me putting these on the floor, y'all. The only thing that's it, I don't even wear like sneakers or none of that in this room. Only house shoes, which y'all see on my feet. I don't play that. But the wigs are going to get washed anyway, so I don't want y'all watching. Like, girl, you trying to sell the wigs? You put them on that floor. Relax. Anyways, let's start counting. So, starting at 10, 11, 12. Forty-two wigs, forty-two wigs, and forty-three on the way. By the time the sale is over, I, the goal is so wait, forty-three, forty-four. So forty-four right now. I have forty-four wigs. So, er, and I gotta secure a little bit more. But forty-five. The goal is fifty, and I want to start working on these wigs. If it's a late April, I want to start working on these wigs. I want to have the actual wig sale possibly in two Fridays, so like May 13th. Um, and then I'll have two weeks to work on all of these wigs. Um, that sounds about right. Yeah, because my friends come. If I have 44 right now and then 45, all I need is five more wigs between now and the end of the sale. Because I'm going to start working on most of them and then anything after, I'm going to just add on to it. Y'all, these... This is a lot of, like, y'all can't even see how it's, like, I'm under the pile. Let me try to fix it so y'all can see. This is so many wigs, y'all. This is so, it's like when you start to, like, move it around, it's so much wigs, y'all. Like, I kind of want to take all those pictures and be like, with the wigs, y'all, I am literally buried under these wigs. I want to get a shot. I do. Uh, even if I'm back even if I back up, it's so many wigs in here. Y'all, this is so many. And it's not even counting the ones lingering. Like, I'm excited. This is going to be a, a task. Which I want. One thing about me, y'all know, I'm good with the wig sales. I'm good with the hair. Um, I might have to order more packaging, which is not a big deal. Um, that's about it, to be honest. But 50 wigs, that's good. My biggest wig sale was, I think, 40 or almost 40. The profit was pretty good. And don't get me wrong, of course, yes, give me the money. But I be, I feel like relatively I get wigs that a lot of girls like to wear. Sometimes they send me wigs that I'm just like, eh. But sometimes it's just kind of like, send me what I want. But they don't be having like a super big variety either. So it's not like, once again, not a big deal. But this is a lot, y'all. This is insane. So now that we got this counted out,
So y'all, um, I randomly just decided to come back downstairs and um, work out or whatever. I was just sitting there. I felt like I was just <laughs> sitting there looking so dumb. Like, what am I doing? You know, I already figured out what I'm gonna do tomorrow as far as my hair is concerned and projects. I still gotta write it down just to be like, you know, a little bit more organized. But um, I'm like, look, I'm not about to sit here and just be on my phone or whatever because I know I could get carried away. I'm like, let me come downstairs to the gym. You know, I'm not gonna have this for much longer. So it's just kind of like, just gotta enjoy while I got it, y'all. I feel like as May is approaching, I'm kind of like, I don't wanna say I'm getting sad, but in a way I'm getting sad. First of all, I feel like y'all all in my face. Hold on. <laughs> I know some of y'all is like, girl, you put us over here. Like, what you mean? <laughs> but yeah, like, I feel like, I hope I'm not funny. I feel like I look, I mean, I feel like I am getting a little sad because it's just like, I feel like I'm always bouncing around, y'all. Like, not even to give no sob story or nothing, but it's been like super heavy on my mind. And I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I feel like all my life I've been bouncing around. Like, I don't feel like I've ever been like super stable and of course the time when I was in like high school and college that was like probably my most stable I've ever been in my life you know living with my father and stuff but it's like y'all I lived everywhere like I never got to adjust nowhere and like I said when I did get to adjust I wasn't happy like it was just like I don't want to say a culture shock but it was Long Island and Brooklyn it's two different types of places, two different types of people, like, and of course there's certain parts of Long Island that could remind you of Brooklyn a little bit, but I wasn't in that part. <laughs> I was far from that part, you feel me? And of course I met great people and stuff like that, but it's just kind of like, I be want somewhere I could call home, like, and you know, of course it's up to me. I'm deciding to live here, live here, live here as far as like my adult life is concerned, but one thing about me if i'm not happy i will leave but i feel like it's so easy for me because i've always like lived everywhere like i lived in the bronx i lived upstate i lived in flappish i lived in queens i lived in brooklyn i lived in multiple different places in brooklyn um shit. i, I lived a lot of places in my whole life so it's just kind of like damn like i do want a place i could call home and stuff like that and it's hard because i'm not like it's not hard for me to live alone i love living alone i don't like people i want to walk around naked i want to make what i want to make make the same meal for a week like you know it's, it's luxuries i love living alone but sometimes of course i miss my family and stuff like that but it's just like i don't even think it's about that i just think like like as far as me living on my own i don't feel like i ever got to make a place feel like home because i know i'm gonna leave so it's just kind of like and not even i have to not i have to leave but it's just kind of like if i'm unhappy with the circumstances I'm gonna go because I'm not gonna settle either. So it's like, you see the transition as far as my set, it's like before when I didn't have really have control, I was just moving because I had to. And now that I have control, I'm moving because I'm not gonna settle and I know it's better for me. And every single time I moved, I went up. Every time I get something new, new car, new crib, it's always better than the last. So, I, you know, it's, it's weird, but yeah, y'all, I feel like I always, I was just thinking earlier um, this week, I was like, I gotta tell y'all, um, this reference so you know when martin and um fresh prince when uh i think it was the last episodes when the whole crib was clean and they walked out and just looked at the crib i'm gonna try to enter it <laughs> and they just looked at the crib and they was just looking around and then they left I, you know how many times i did that <laughs> you know how many times i did that and it's just kind of like as an adult i'm trying to master the art of detachment from people places and things and i do tend to get very attached but i realized with the type of lifestyle i have at the moment i can't afford to get attached because along with my attachment comes emotional attachment and it's hard to like shake that off so i'm trying to like master that and i don't know how to i feel like i gotta get in a certain place in my life a certain mindset and then it'll be easier for me but i'm taking it day by day y'all but anyways yeah i'm not gonna have this for much longer and of course i'm gonna find another gym like it is what it is you gotta move on but this is a really nice place. My apartment is really, really nice. Like, I cannot complain. There's nothing to complain about. Like, this is such a great place. And, you know, it's luxurious. It's private, safe compared to my last apartment out here. It was just too much going on. I've never been to that gym before in my last building because it just looked mad regular. But you got brick walls in the gym. Like, come on. And another thing is, too, I realized how lucky and how blessed I am 
because a lot of people can't say they experience shit like this. Like, I don't want to say it's not a once in a lifetime thing, but I'm 25 and I be stressing over, oh, I could be doing better, I could be doing better, and I don't be living in the fact that I'm doing good for where I'm at right now. I know I can be way further and I know I can be doing better. But I also have to understand that I'm still in a great place right now. And there's a lot of people who are in their late 30s, 40s and never even seen no, like stuff like this. So, you know, and it's not even to compare or nothing, but it's just to bring myself back to earth and just live in the now. So I want to preach to y'all. I've already been talking for five, almost six minutes. But I'm about to um, do more workouts, get this in, and then... Um, go upstairs and go to sleep and hopefully i'm not gonna say hopefully because if i want to do it i can get up early in the morning and i'm gonna try to find a way for me to hurry up and get out the bed but i have to get some sleep i don't know how i'm gonna do this y'all i gotta figure it out but we gonna get there so anyways let's finish this workout So we finally about to tackle all of this stuff in a beauty room. I got about containers. And what else we gotta do? Um, I gotta get my hair products together because y'all know the wig sale coming up. I gotta make sure I have all my stuff. I gotta order the hair dryer soon too, but I don't wanna get too ahead of myself yet. So we gotta go to I wanna go to Marshall's. I wanna go to the container store and I wanna go to Walmart. But I don't wanna be out all day either, so we just gonna have to kind of see how that uh, works out. But yeah, B.O.B. is in the build. B.O.B. is in the build, y'all. She is in the building. So um, I just had to finish that. And I also got to film another video too. But um, I guess we'll just kind of see like how that works and just see what's going on. So uh, let's hurry up. Let's get in the car. I might stop at Starbucks because y'all know how I get. Um, and then we'll be on the way. Y'all, let's talk about my lashes. So I tried these new lashes from um the balmy extensions i'm about to hit them up for a sponsorship because i be shouting them out all the time because y'all not okay so i don't even know what length these are but i just want to try some shorter lashes just to see and i think they're so cute so cute and natural looking and y'all know i'm very selective about my lashes but i was like hmm, let me just try this give it a natural look my lips are always going to be popping you already know that but yeah y'all other than that let's get outside because i won't, don't want to get back too late and i really want to get in depth and get real deep into this so let's go all right y'all so we made it to the container store we about to go see what is given what is going on it's my first time in here so i don't really know what to expect but let's see come on let's go all right y'all so i'm in the office section and my thing is i don't need anything that's too like office looking i'm looking for more so like vanity type stuff and i know you can substitute certain things for certain things and i'm also looking for stuff that could fit my wig caps because i have so many of them and the problem is i don't have nowhere to really put like my wig caps and stuff like that sorry so let's see oh um, I don't know, y'all. It's so overwhelming in here. I'm not gonna lie. It's just so much to look at. And I really kind of don't know where to start. But I know I don't want to get too, like... I don't want to make this too time-consuming. So, let's just see what's going on. 
all right so something like this would be really nice if you already know i got something like this in my beauty room now and the price for this retails this retails for a hundred dollars so i think this is pretty cool but i do feel like we could find it cheaper in uh marshall's or home goods because that's where i got my first one and i'm don't get me wrong i don't mind spending the money but is it worth it it feels sturdy but it also feels like it could break if it god forbid tips over or something happens and that's what we don't want so let's keep looking there's something like this and this retails for 40 dollars and it kind of gives the same vibe but it's white but i like it though i kind of like this y'all i'm not gonna lie i kind of want to keep my options open but for 40 dollars you can't beat this this is a three tier and it spins which i feel like is a big like pro but now i'm thinking okay what could i possibly fit inside of here i know i could do more of my hair tools put those in the middle that'd be pretty cool um i'm trying to think the main problem we have is not really hair tools tools per se it's really like the wig caps and stuff like that so i would want something like this but square like that so all of the space can be used so and then they have something like this too but it's just kind of like yeah it just looks like it takes up mad space and that's what we don't need so <laughs> y'all when i tell you i know myself so well so the cart the acrylic cart that i was showing y'all basically i was like you know what certain things i feel like is overpriced and i feel like you can find it cheaper somewhere else but you also have to consider the quality right so i went and bought the damn acrylic um <laughs> the acrylic cart um i think i got a discount though if I'm not mistaken, I went and bought the acrylic heart and something else. So now we're on our way to um, Marshall's just to get like a few more things. Marshall, Marshall's Home Goods and the hair store is all within the same thing. I decided not to go to Walmart because I don't know what's going on because all my local, well, first of all, my two local Walmarts are like closed. So that's number one. And then number two, um, it's just too far and I don't feel like I need to go all the way over there for what I was trying to go for like it just doesn't make sense so I'm gonna sit that one I'll go another day but definitely Marshall's home goods and the hair store is all within the same place so I'm gonna just go there um, other than that yeah so as far as certain things are concerned it's like you can't some, certain things I like to I like to be quality and I feel like that cart was just the smartest as far as quality now they do have a whole bunch of three tier carts everywhere especially on Amazon they're cheaper you know whatever I just don't like the look of it so that's why I got the one I got and it has wheels which you know the other ones have wheels too but I just I don't know something just made me buy that one and I'm happy with my purchase and the little uh, other thing I have bought I'll make sure I show y'all and then we'll build it together and you know everything but i just went to update you i was like they is gonna be like girl every time you say you're not gonna do something you end up doing it what's up with that and it's like girl i have to weigh my options like i have to really like you know really think about these things and i have so much hair stuff it's just kind of like I have to get more organized like I have to get more organized and I have three uh at this point now well yeah three acrylic um shelves carts little thing whatever so I should have space for everything now um I just want to get something to organize the bottom of my sink and um I should be good for the most part I don't know if I'm a I didn't find it in there I definitely didn't find it in there but uh, I guess we just gonna have to see. So, anyways, we're going on. So y'all know I got mad stuff to do. I got to do this whole organization video. I got all the stuff I soon for y'all in on everything like that. But I was fiending, fiending to try on this new inventory. And I'm not gonna lie, I just might have to order more. I just might have to order more. When I tell y'all this eats, let me show y'all. 
So you could wear it out if you want. Let me see if I could really show y'all. Look, this is so fire. I don't know how I would do this. I feel like I would want to wear like, I wouldn't wear the chain out. That looks dumb. But <laughs> I like the little hidden detail though. Y'all see this with the chains right there? And then if I get like a little belt, one of those silver or gold belts, of course I would probably do silver at this point. But the little silver belt, y'all, eats down, down. This is so, oh my god, I cannot wait to launch this. All right, let's get started with this cleaning video, though. This is our first piece of inventory as far as this jumpsuit for Shop the Body brand. Um, if y'all don't know yet, if y'all don't know by now, Shop the Body brand, that is my clothing boutique. And I know everybody's like, oh, my clothing boutique, my hair coming in, blah, 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 blah. But as you can see, my piece is a fire. And I try my best to be, you know, different and stand out, being that I'm not a designer and I don't make my own stuff. So, I want to give the girls cute, sexy, and chic. Okay, and the body is oddy in, y'all. This is so cute. I'm going to have to order more of this. I already see it now, y'all. All right, so let's start to clean up. All right, y'all. So, ugh. good. Let's talk about it. So, I wish I had a speaker. I know this would be so much better if I had a... Um, a little mic attached to the body, but we'll be alright. So, let me show y'all everything I got before we get started. So, I bought this acrylic, um, this acrylic, what do you call this? I guess you could just say an acrylic organizer. So, this purpose, the purpose of this one is to be to organize my brushes and combs and stuff a little bit more. Um, maybe makeup too. I think I bought something for my makeup, but we'll get there. So, this is what it looks like. And this retailed for... How much was this? Where did I get this? Oh, this I got from the container store, and I think this was like $22. So this is $22. And then I went to Marshall. Well, let me actually show y'all what else I got from the container store first. Ooh. So I told y'all I folded under pressure. Well, it wasn't under pressure. I just felt like it made the most sense when I looked at my options because I didn't want to be just quick to get it and then it didn't make sense. But this is basically the acrylic shelf, I guess you could call it, or what you could call it. Um, so this is so this is basically the acrylic rolling cart that I was telling y'all about, and it's not that. You know, I felt like I folded under pressure because at a point I did feel like I folded under pressure, but at the same time, I did look at my options. And the options just wasn't optioning. So I wound up getting this. We're going to set this up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to set it up in the vlog, but I'm going to definitely keep y'all in tune with everything because I'm making an actual video by itself to show y'all how we transform the beauty room and organize everything. So that's what this looks like. Ooh. And then from Marshalls, we got... Now, here's the thing, too. Before I show y'all this, and Marshalls has a lot of acrylic drawers, shelves, whatever you want to call it. So does Home Goods. Um, of course, the container store, too. But the container store is a bit expensive. And I just felt like I like a sale. So if I could get the same thing of the same quality for a cheaper price, I'm going to do it. So I got this Beano acrylic, uh, I guess you could call multi-use organizer. And this retail, well, the original price was 26 They put it down to 19 And it had a scratch on it. And I had some hustle there. Comedy day, me, girl. They only gave me a dollar discount. So they put it for $18, which is so bad. But basically, did this lift? No, I don't think this lifts. Basically, you have two drawers. So you have this drawer right here. And you have this drawer on the bottom. So I'm definitely going to be using this for my makeup. Uh, so I cannot wait to use this. To be honest, I do have to wipe everything down. But we will do that moments. Um, I also got this acrylic little setup right here and this is actually for food if you can't tell it's all the little food stuff in the inside and I'm gonna just use this to put this in the shelf but to separate it so I'm gonna put all my clips um, what else did I said I was gonna put in there my wig bands um, and a few other things I'm pretty sure I said so that's this this was how much was it oh yeah I told you that I was $18 this was $12. $12. And sometimes just because it look just because it says it's used for food doesn't mean you gotta use it for food. You know what we you know us. One thing about it, people get innovative, you gonna find a way to make use of something even if it's not for the purposes used for, okay? 
So, I, um, Beauty Blender, I got my Sebastian Spray because y'all know that wig sale is coming up. And just if you did not know, which I don't know who doesn't know this by now, but if you need certain hair products, Marshall's got some good hair products for a cheaper price. So, this at probably Sally's or somewhere would have probably been way more money. This Sebastian Spray was only $10. $10 and this could go for probably like 15 plus in them stores. Y'all know Sebastian Shaper Plus. This is my go-to, my holy grail of hairsprays that's super, super light, but it's going to give you the hold that you want without making it stiff at the same time. So I got this. And then for the under the sink, which I don't even think I'm going to be able to use this under the sink because I think it's going to be too big. Um, I got these two baskets from Marshalls. So the bigger one retails for $17, which is not bad. And the small one right here retails for $15. So we're doing pretty good. This is going to hold like my bleach, all the bulky items, bleach, uh, developer. And I found purpose for all the other stuff. And this is probably just going to hold extra products, hair dye. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out as I go. But I'm going to make sure I document it. And keep y'all in tune with everything that I got going on. So, like I said, I am going to do a dedicated uh, dedicated video for this. And most likely it's going to be up before this vlog. So make sure you go on my page and watch this video once you see this vlog. And see how I organize everything. But I am going to show y'all the final product. Because, you know, filming for too much. If I try to vlog it and film it and I'm trying to do like a little mini TikTok on it. It's just going to be a little bit too much. So, with that, with that being said, uh, let me get started because I know me, I'm going to be up all night working on this and I know this is gonna be fun. So, whew, let's get started. situation y'all this is like my temporary setup i had this little desk from um i got this desk from i believe it was michael's yeah i had this for about three years i think but y'all one of the wheels fell off a couple of months ago and i know she's about to have to go soon but if y'all looking for a foldable desk it's really good for storage purposes if i wanted to like put it to the side or just put it away and just have more space in my area i could do that hence why y'all see the legs there it closes up it's really good and it's actually really really durable y'all had this for a while but 
here's my section so we could start over here so I have my hair brushes my tweezers combs all my essentials I separated my combs by edge brushes wide tooth combs and then I put all my portables and my glues and all of my little essential things that I use when I'm doing my hair so I use my even sprays a lot my wax stick my Erica J wax stick um, my Climax hair products, as you can see, I am running out of glue, child. So I already keep that upside down just in case. We got an extra Erica J glue, and I just put my Bio Silk right there. Then for my makeup brushes, hang on. For my makeup brushes, I put uh, all of my face brushes, then my smaller brushes. Can y'all even see? All of my smaller brushes and then all of my precision brushes right there. Then you got my popsicle stick and extra little accessories. I have my black sharpies in there too just in case I got to color correct those knots. Color correct that part. Then we got all my, um, my glue, mascara, eyebrow pencil, all of that right there. And then just a little bit of, I honestly, did, all those brushes was just many, so I just put them in there. So for my makeup, I wound up putting, y'all, when I tell you I didn't know what to put where, so please just forgive me. But I put all of my lip products in here, along with my primer, my foundation, uh, concealer, and then my satin spray right here. This is my new one size satin spray, and I've been loving it, ladies. So she goes right in the center at the top shell. Then I just got my journal, which this is so random. Y'all, I'm probably going to move this, but this is what I got it for now. So my little, um, my business journal and a stand that I be using when I watch videos while I'm filming and stuff like that. And then I just put some extra makeup stuff like my palettes, blush, some other old makeup products that I found that's still good. I also use the Prep and Prime setting spray, but we got one size now. We are upgrading. And then in this drawer, I also got my bigger palettes, my everyday makeup. So when I contour, eyeshadow, y'all know stuff like that. Setting powders I put in there. I have more than enough beauty blenders now, child. Even a little holder. I had a new. I had to get a new holder because my other one was looking real busted. So I put those in there. And then underneath, y'all, we got all the wig caps. I decided to put all of those together because it just makes sense. My rubber bands, bobby pins, stuff like that. I put that in the back. My edge bands and all different types of stuff right in the front all of the things that I need to like grab and I usually hang these around this little thing right there but it just kind of look tacky so I just put them up and then I put all my essential hair tools so my blow dryer for when I do like my quick little fake glueless installs whatever I keep my blow dryer plugged in as well but I got all my essential hair products that I always is my go-to. So my flat iron, curling iron, tie combs, my crimp up, being that I got so many. And then I got some clips in the back. Honestly, I just put that there because nobody gonna see it. So yeah. And then when we come over here, y'all, this is one of my favorite things. I separated all my clips because one thing about it, I always find myself like searching for a certain clip so this was just perfect to like separate the clips and then i got all my sprays my hair oils spritz mousse everything in one place y'all and then it moves so y'all already seen how this moves around and it drags but i'm gonna keep it in a corner for now kind of like this so it's just out the way and it's just so much space then on the bottom i put a little bit of you know and then right there i put some flexi rods and my self grip rollers that i got from sally's nothing too crazy but i feel like this is something that needs to move because of course if i'm doing my hair and need this stuff next to me i could always turn it that i can always turn it the opposite way and then have all my essentials like just closer to me so I don't have to dig in too much and you know it's too much of an inconvenience so I kind of tried to put the things that I use the most on the outsides or to make it like easier to reach just so it could help me out a little bit this is actually what I was using before I was using this and I could not fit all of those in there so it's just a bigger version I feel like they just work good together and then I just put some of my business essentials in there y'all I'm gonna just keep that open because I don't know what I'm gonna need it for one day but that's what we're gonna use it for a child so when I'm sewing on when I'm branding my products and packaging y'all orders everything is easy to reach look at how much more space I have in here I also move my desk all the way to the corner I like the natural sunlight but I like space I like to move around I like to just I hate feeling like everything is so cramped up y'all can't think but there's so much space in here and I never really got to decorate the way I wanted to but trust me I'm gonna give y'all an uh, office decorating video when I get in my new office so we're gonna be good with that and then once we take it over to this drawer right here 
Um, you got all the lashes with the lashes. This drawer stayed the same, to be honest. I put hair accessories and little extra brushes and stuff like that in here. The makeup is with the makeup. Y'all been opening this a lot, so I know everything look kind of everywhere, but yeah i put the combs with the combs and all the extra edge brushes and combs and stuff like that raises anything really extra of that room went in this drawer all my caps y'all finally organized the caps and bonnets and it's not caps bonnets and scarves it's just the caps and the bonnets so they're easy to find i put the scarves away because i don't really use them so they're taking up space to be honest then i put all my extra here too so all my crimpers and flat irons go in this drawer along with some thread and uh i forgot what these is called but yeah i got that and being that i have so much of them <laughs> this is where i put my curling irons and my blow drying brush stuff like that y'all i got so many curling irons this gonna make no damn sense y'all and that's just the extra drawer of like miscellaneous electronics basically then when you come over here I just put my um all the shipping extra stuff y'all I'm not gonna lie I didn't do too much over here because it just wasn't giving go crazy to be honest like I just put the box they just made it look not too terrible I don't use that blow dry because it's trash but it would have been nice to use I'm not gonna lie that this blow dryer been on a charger for like months <laughs> and it works literally for two seconds and then a little desk area once again I never really got to set it up and decorate it and stuff because I'm about to relocate but this is gonna work for me for now so if you just push this back a little bit bam 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 do it works honestly it's really nothing to see in here but I did organize my wig heads that's my thorn wig y'all I gotta keep her separate from everything because that's some good every time I go outside I don't wash that wig I know how I feel about it every single time I go outside in that wig somebody's like where did you get that hair from girl that hair is like three years old at this point that is my hair and I don't touch it and she just looks fat where she's at but I do gotta replace the closure I put some new arrivals and all my inventory just in boxes in here because this is just what works for me and I don't want to pack it up too much and then I can't it takes up even more space so I'm just kind of doing what works for me so that's just what this looks like and lastly I know I showed y'all already but this is what the underneath this is what the storage containers look like under the sink got your developers got your developers and all of that powder conditioner shampoo stuff like that then we got some elastic bands in here with some brushes and some more found cream foundation we got the hair dyes all up in this drawer nothing too crazy and in the bottom drawer we just got extra stuff that i really don't use that just fit perfectly right there so y'all with that being said that completes my organization slash I don't want to say beauty room tour because that's not what this is, but my organization tour thing, y'all, I'm not going to lie. It didn't really technically take me that long, but I had a lot of stuff to do in between, so it kind of just prolonged the process, but y'all, it feels so good to be organized. I feel like it helps me with my productivity and just to clear my mind. I cannot stand when my rooms, my bedroom, bathroom, beauty room, any of them rooms, when they just super overcrowded, y'all, my mind just doesn't work the same, so... I'm happy I got the space and just got the areas. I also got some box lights right here, which I'm not going to put those in the closet because they ain't bothering nobody right there. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I think I'm going to do an organization video with my main bathroom because I have a lot of stuff in there. Like, you know, the lotions, body wash, shower, accessories. It's a lot of stuff. So I might do that next. Let me know if y'all want to see that video next.